Welcome to the Taos Machine Translation and MOSES tutorial. The cleaning of training data for statistical MT systems is a hotly debated topic. In this module, we present the industry best practices for data cleaning so that you can participate in this discussion and make the right decisions on how to clean your data. This module on data cleaning and tokenization is closely related to the module data conversion and corpus preparation. The data conversion module was all about collecting the most training data from a variety of sources and converting it into the right format. This module explains how to clean up the collected data to achieve the best possible MT output quality. Prerequisite for easy corpus cleaning and also MT training is to separate the corpus text into tokens, so we'll talk about this first. A basic phrase-based statistical MT system sees training data simply as symbols separated by spaces. It doesn't have a conceptual understanding what the text content means. Therefore, before training such an MT system, we have to separate punctuation from words. This is called tokenization. Initially, this might sound like a very simple task that can be done using regular expressions. When looking at the example on the slide, however, it becomes clear that this task is more complex. Periods that are part of abbreviations should not be separated from word characters, and these abbreviations are language dependent. Sometimes word concatenations, like the negation doesn't here, should be separated. Luckily, Moses provides a tokenizer that contains rules for most European languages. An even more complex case for tokenization are East Asian languages, like Japanese and Chinese. In these ideographic languages, words in a sentence are not separated by spaces. We need to segment words for these languages using a word segmentation tool. Shown on the slide here is a Japanese example sentence and its segmentation. Segmenters are often statistical tools which make mistakes. A wrong segmentation can completely change the sense of a sentence. In the example sentence, the first character means tree, and the second and third characters brain. High-quality word segmentation is therefore necessary to achieve acceptable quality for MT involving East Asian languages, which are hard to machine translate to begin with. Once the corpus text is tokenized, we can clean it. With the requirement to have corpora encoded in Unicode, we ensure that characters from virtually all languages can be represented in the corpus files. However, there is still the opportunity to correct and unify the representation of some characters, especially when it comes to punctuation and other non-word characters. For data coming from HTML or XML, some characters are encoded with character escapes. These should be converted into their Unicode equivalents. Unicode allows wide variations in representing punctuation, and these can be unified into single form. If not already removed during data conversion, any formatting characters, such as, for example, reading direction indicators for right-to-left languages, should also be removed. Some of the non-word characters can create problems when using the Moses open source MT system. Non-printing characters should always be removed. Vertical bars should always be removed unless we've trained factored MT systems. These will be explained later in the tutorial. Square brackets and less than and greater than signs take on special meaning under certain configurations. After cleaning up the characters, we can move to the segment level. We're using the translation memory term segment here interchangeably with parallel sentence pair. We can remove suspicious segments, often automatically, based on very simple criteria, the simplest case being when either source or target is empty. More sophisticated filters need to be used to detect the language of source and target, and things can get quite tricky when trying to automatically distinguish programming language text from English. We can also remove duplicate segments, but should be careful in doing so. Duplicates from high-quality training data close to the target domain and even specialized dictionaries can favor terminology that we want. Deleting such duplicates presents the risk of drowning out such desired terminology with undesired terminology from the rest of the training corpus. 
Reducing variations in terminology, punctuation and capitalization in the training corpus will generally improve the output quality of a statistical MT system. The reason for this is that the system then has more examples to draw from for a term to be translated. Named entities, per Wikipedia, are names of persons, organizations, locations, expressions of time, quantities, monetary values, percentages, etc. Named entities can rarely be translated properly by statistical MT systems. Think, for example, of dates. It is often worth it to replace named entities with generic placeholders using a named entity recognizer. It should be obvious that this replacement also needs to happen when using the trained MT engine. Separate pre- and post-processing components can provide locale-appropriate processing. For the example on the slide, these components could convert the American-style date into the correct value and format of the target locale. A more sophisticated form of corpus cleaning is to apply spell checking and grammar checking to the corpus to increase its quality. Spell checkers and grammar checkers for both source and target languages are required, which is not a big obstacle these days with the availability of open source checkers like Language Tool. The bigger obstacle is something that everybody having used spell checking and grammar checking in word processing applications like Microsoft Word has certainly experienced. These spell checkers and grammar checkers make a lot of mistakes. Automatic application of the spelling and grammar correction suggestions would be over aggressive and most likely lead to decreased corpus quality. Manual confirmation of the suggestions is practically not possible due to the large size of the training corpora. There is a range of open source tools available to perform cleaning of parallel corpora. The Adobe TMX to Moses tool combines conversion from TMX, data cleaning and tokenization. The tool can be used on all platforms. Corpus Filter Graph is an automation tool to combine filters in just the right way to create a corpus production pipeline customized for the specific project data. Some of the filter plugins are only available in a commercial version. Moses itself contains a small cleaning script with a limited set of functionality. However, as should have become clear from the wide variety of cleaning options, customized cleaning scripts written in one of the popular scripting languages are often the best way to go. Cleaning corpora in automated fashion using tools and customized scripts is ideal, especially considering the large data volumes of millions of sentence pairs. Also, if more data becomes available later, it can just be run through the same automated process. However, automated cleaning is limited, and for high-value data, it might be worth it to identify a subset of suspicious segments and get them cleaned up by a human reviewer. The cleaning of entire data sets by human reviewers is not realistic given the large volumes. It should be emphasized that there is often not one right way to clean a certain data set. Experimentation is necessary. After a statistical MT system is deemed insufficient, going back and revising the data cleaning can often lead to significant improvements in the output quality. If the available data is noisy, data cleaning can often be one of the largest efforts in training a statistical MT system. At some point, though, we have to trust the statistical nature of the MT system. As one vendor, who is one of the biggest advocates of data cleaning, said, Large amounts of moderately clean data can, at some point, surpass systems built on very small amounts of clean data. Basic phrase-based statistical machine translation only uses the tokens of the training corpus, the train MT system. Given a large enough training corpus, this from many cases in many language pairs is enough to train a very good statistical MT system. For cases where less training data is available, or where one of the languages involved is a more difficult, morphologically complex language, machine translation researchers have determined that adding some linguistic information to the training corpus can help improve the system. This does not mean the complete syntactic analysis of sentences known from traditional linguistics, but rather more shallow information like parts of speech or word stems. 
Tools that provide such shallow linguistic information are readily available for many languages, and Moses can use such information in so-called factored models. However, you need to keep in mind that the tools need to be integrated into the entire MT process, including the analysis of input into the MT system. Therefore, linguistic annotation like this should only be considered as an option for difficult cases. This is the end of the data cleaning and tokenization module. For other modules in the series, please go to the web address shown on this slide. Thanks for your attention.